Hey, I'm Robbie. And I'm Seth. And we make the 198 Review Team. And today we are going to be talking about Geometry Wars 2 Retro Evolved. Now this is the follow-up to Geometry Wars 1, which came out when the 360 launched. And today we are going to first talk about our reviewing, how we review games. So we first talk about gameplay, then we talk about replayability, presentation, and of course at the end about achievements, because we all love achievements. So let's jump right into our review here. First we'll talk about gameplay. And the first thing about the gameplay is that it has great pacing. It starts out slow and simple and then gets more challenging and more fun as it goes. Another great part about the gameplay is the great controls. It's really simple, you just have the two thumbsticks, one to move, one to shoot, and it just makes the game all the more fun. Now, some people dislike how they changed the weapons and the multiplier, but we think it's a great idea because sometimes you would get screwed over because you had the shotgun in Geometry Wars 1 when you had some enemies that weren't, didn't work well with them. And the high multipliers, some people don't like that for some reason, but we think it's excellent because it gives you a reason to go after those geomes that enemies drop when you kill them. Alright, now we'll talk about the presentation. And so, basically, Geometry Wars 2 is split up into six different game types. There's Deadline, which is just like a three minute uh, run for the points. You just go as much as you can. It doesn't matter how much times you die. Uh, then there's King, which is this brand new game type. And it's really unique. You, uh, you have these circles, and then you stay in them, and they can't get you when you shoot. Uh, we'll show you some clips of that, and uh, it'll probably make more sense in the clips. And then there's the regular Evolved, which is pretty much the same as uh, Geometry Wars 1, except with the new like weapon system and uh, Geom system. Now, his personal favorite is Pacifism, where there is no shooting involved at all. You actually kill enemies by going through gates, and collecting their multiplier gives you really high points. There's also another one called Waves, where there's just these enemies that just move in one direction across the screen. But the thing is, they keep coming after you. You have to keep eliminating them just to stay alive. And then Sequence, which is like a leveling kind of game, where you go through wave after wave kind of in a way, and you get little stops in the beginning. And is also one of the ways of getting an achievement, by making a smile out of the game boards. And my personal favorite is Deadline because it takes the uh, sense of Pac-Man Championship Edition where you just have a set amount of time and then you, you do as, as fast as you can and get as many points as you can in that time. Alright, so also in the presentation is the flashy graphics. As obviously you can see there's lots of explosions going on, it looks like fireworks going off. And it's just a really great presentation overall. Yeah, they added a few effects, like a focus effect and so on. And the menus are a lot better now, too. Now we're going to talk about replayability. Now, this game, you can play a lot at a time. You can play up to, like, you know, as many games as you want, because you're just going to want to keep beating your high score you just got. It's very now, addictive. Now there's new pl multiplayer mode, which now you can play with up to four or three other friends with you at a time. Yeah. And it's very fun since now you don't have to take turns. And there's two ships where you can be teams or you can all be against each other. This is addicting, but and you can also uh, do this one gameplay mode where you're the driver and the other person's the shooter. It just adds more different uh, options in the game. But unfortunately, there is an online multiplayer, which is one of the few disappointments that this game might bring on. It's also a very addicting game. I mean, my brother, he just came home and tried it for a little bit, and now he's hooked. He just can't stop playing pacifism. And um, they have some leaderboards, and it's always fun to get your name up on the top there. Um, 
We also have some pretty impressive high scores on there, I don't know. I somehow managed to get 47 million on there, and Seth, I'm sure, has some other uh, <laughs> impressive achievements on the leaderboards. Thank you, Robbie. Thank you. All right, now for our last part is achievements. Now, we're all big, really big achievement fans, you know. Now, these are really fun to get. They take a lot of practice, and they really change the way you play the game. Like in Geometry Wars 1, they had the survive for 60 seconds without buying a shot. Now that was that was mind-bending because who would have thought of doing that? But this game really pushes the achievement system and makes the game even funner and better. There's uh, one achievement I know called Wax Off, and this is in pacifism mode where you have to go around the entire border, border twice and uh, it's just a really challenging thing but after a lot of practice you're able to get them and this way the achievements are better than the first game because they're actually gettable for people that aren't extremely skilled. Now these are much better than last game's achievements where they were really tough. We managed to get a lot of them but surviving a million was actually very tough. Um, and in this way, more people can get them, but definitely they have a hard achievement called Smile, making the smile out of the boards in sequence mode, which is really tough, but we'll get it soon enough. And that's about it for our review. Thanks for watching. Uh, overall, I think we're gonna give it about a 9.5 out of 10. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Uh, really high uh, recommendation. Go out and buy it. Ten bucks on the marketplace. It's just a great buy, great deal, and really addicting and fun. Thanks for watching. And we will have many more reviews to come, so keep watching. All right, bye.